he was a troubled child and he was a, he's been involved in criminal activity since he was a juvenile. He's extremely cagey, he's extremely dangerous, and he has nothing to lose. Convicted of killing a one-year-old and now on the run after escaping custody, Orange County Sheriff Charles Blackwood says he has known Ramon Alston since he was a child and calls him extremely dangerous. Alston escaped custody yesterday while going to a medical appointment. Now they're asking people to check their doorbell cameras. CBS 17's Gilad Malamud is live for us tonight in Hillsborough with the very latest on the investigation and where things stand now. The search for Ramon Alston is completely shifting. It's no longer a ground search in the area surrounding UNC Hospital's Hillsborough campus, but instead it's a search based on leads. Did you check this house? The canvassing of neighborhoods and woods near UNC Hospital's Hillsborough campus comes to an end. Sheriff Charles Blackwood says he's confident Ramon Alston is not in a five mile radius of the hospital. So I'll tell you that there are two leads we've got. I'm not gonna tell you what they are that we feel are, are solid rock solid and that's a teaser to the folks out there that know what's going on and know that they were involved in it we, we know you and we're coming for you blackwood says some leads suggest alston is still in the state some suggest he's not the department of adult correction is now taking the lead on the investigation this becomes more of a a, a, a phase where we follow tips and we follow leads and we and we work the investigative angle of this. Since upping the reward for information leading to Alston's capture to $35,000 this morning, Sheriff Blackwood says the number of tips is increasing too. I don't know the quality of the calls that are coming in, but I know that the content has been elevated. So that's really a, a, a good thing and we hope we stumble across a nugget while we're doing that. Blackwood reiterated how unexpected it is for someone to take off running, saying the two transport officers are not to blame. To condemn those folks for what they've been doing and what they were doing is just wrong. That man had a plan and there was nothing that they could do to know it and we hate it all happened and yes we're analyzing what took place to make sure that we try to ensure that it doesn't happen again. Sheriff Blackwood also spoke about what this has been like for the family of the one-year-old girl Alston is convicted of killing. Hear what he has to say tonight at 7. Live in Hillsborough, Gilad Malamed, CBS 17 News. All right, Gilad, thank you. And here's another look at Ramon Alston. Law enforcement says he had dreads when he escaped yesterday, but they don't know if he still has them. That reward is now at $35,000. The number to call is right there on your screen. You can also call 911. You can also go to our website, CBS17.com, to see that again.